Hello and welcome back to Devi Daily Yoga. I'm Devi and I'm looking forward to sharing a gentle yin yoga sequence with you. This is a sequence of really soft and relaxing poses for times when you want to unwind. What you'll need is a belt or a strap. So any kind of cloth belt is good. It doesn't have to be a yoga strap with buckles or anything like that. And we'll begin in a seated meditation. So using the cushion under your seat and coming into a comfortable cross legs or whatever leg position works for you. You could also choose to sit back against the wall. And when you are ready, once you're comfortable, once you're settled in, let your eyes close. And once the eyes close, notice the feelings on the inside of your skin. Notice what's happening inside the boundaries of this body. The movement of your breath. The sensation of your seat against the cushion. The sensation of your hands wherever they're resting. the sensation of your spine upright. And the soothing sensation of your breath as you inhale and exhale in this natural and instinctive rhythm and noticing what is my instinctive rhythm today of breath. Maybe it's deeper, or maybe it's a shallower breath, a gentler breath. As you breathe and as you follow this rhythmic breathing with your mind's eye, let your body be relaxed. Soften any tension that you notice along the way. And continue to breathe as if the breath were the most precious gift that you've been given in your life. And now begin to expand your awareness from the internal breath to the external awareness of your limbs and just begin to very gently move your arms. No particular direction, just feeling that the arms are here and that there's a space around you that you're inhabiting. And as we prepare to transition to our mat, gently let your eyes open and come into a lying down position. Put your cushion aside and rest on your back for one minute, taking a rebound from the meditation. 
Any comfortable position on your back is good here. And notice what it's like to be resting on the floor. Notice the parts of your body that are connected to the earth. And notice how the breath feels here in this position. And now gently hug the knees in towards your chest. Wrap the arms around the legs. Feeling into the lower back. and releasing the legs so that the feet come to touch the ground and coming into a spinal twist, taking both hips over to the right side of your mat and then bringing both knees in and over to the left. Taking your left hand on top of the knees and extending your right arm out to the right side, holding this spinal twist for three minutes. And notice where your head is in space. You might want to have your head more centered or turned out to the right or anywhere in between. And you can always choose to use props. Perhaps your cushion comes under your legs, under your knees, or in between your knees, making sure you're fully comfortable wherever you are. and allowing yourself to soften, allowing your body to relax, and inviting a sense of calm into your brain, into your mind. and releasing the twist. Come back up to center very slowly and rest at the center. Pausing, you could let the knees rest against each other if you like. Taking a couple breaths here. Feeling the spine at the center after that twist to the first side. 
And now slowly and gently move to the second side. So your hips come toward the left side of your mat, knees come in and over to the right. Right hand on the knee, on the outer leg, left hand out to the left. And as you rest here, and as you feel your body twisting, your spine twisting, your ribs twisting, your belly twisting, notice how the breath is in the midst of all this twisting. Notice how your breath finds its way into all the corners of your ribs, your belly, your back. And notice the sense of release as you exhale. Slowly releasing your knees up to the center and come into a relaxation for one minute. This is the time that we call the rebound. The time to feel the effects of the pose, to feel the energy that's moving through the body after twisting to the left and to the right. And now slowly hug your knees in towards your chest. And finding your strap and wrapping the strap around your right leg, right foot, and extend the right foot up as you take the left leg out on the mat. Coming into this hamstring stretch. You can hold the strap whatever way is comfortable, maybe two hands choking up on the strap like this, or maybe you prefer to rest your elbows down on the floor. Or if you have more uh, range of motion here, you might be reaching the arms up over the head in some way. 
so that you feel a hamstring stretch in the back of your right thigh. And breathing into the stretch that you feel. Letting the breath be steady and calm. And now take both parts of the strap into your right hand and open the leg out to the right side to move this into the groin. So stretching the inner groin, the inner thigh. You might take your left arm out to the left side as a counterbalance and you could also inch your left leg, the leg that's still on the floor. You could inch it out to the left side for a little more counterbalance. Or some people like to bend that left knee and have it open out to the side with a bent knee. Breathing into this stretch in the inner groin. And now take the leg back up to the center and release the leg, resting on the back for a few moments, putting your strap aside. And just feeling the body after that first side, stretching into hamstring and groin. And now moving into the leg stretch on the second side, taking your strap around your left foot, finding the amount of stretch that feels right for you. And there is no need to try to get the leg straight up like mine. You might be at an angle that's more forward or you might continue farther back and this really just depends on your individual range of motion. Mine, mine happens to go kind of straight up and that feels like a good stretch for me today. And whatever angle your leg is, finding your breath as you breathe into the sensation that you're feeling and let the breath calm your mind. and inviting this same sense of calm into your body. When we hold yin postures, there's very little need for muscular engagement. In this pose, the arms are probably the thing that's working the most. The legs can relax. And now opening the leg out to the side. So both hand, both parts of the strap in the left hand and left side, stretching into the groin, inner thigh, 
right arm extending out to the right, and this right leg can come out to the side or the knee can come out to the side, whatever feels good to you. Releasing to bring the leg back up to center, put the strap aside as the leg comes down and taking a full rebound, one minute on the back. Any comfortable position and feeling the movement of energy and the movement of breath as a result of that last pose. Maybe feeling some more energy and awareness of the lower half of the body now after those stretches. Relaxing here. And bending the knees, hugging them in toward your chest and lift your head up toward your knees, squeeze into a ball. And releasing down and roll to one side, we're going to transition to the wall. So you'll want to have some kind of cushion under your seat, which could be your mat against the wall or any blanket or extra layer so that your tailbone is comfortable and moving into legs up the wall pose by lying down on your side and swinging the legs up the wall and from this legs up the wall position we will come into figure four pose so bending both knees placing the feet on the wall and if your lower back feels kind of strained here, then you'll want to scoot away from the wall. So um, some people like to be a foot away from the wall. Some like to be two feet away from the wall. Others like to stay close to the wall. So it's up to you as you take your right ankle over your left knee. And the pose that we're doing is called figure four, and it's to stretch into the glutes, into the right buttock. So you might need to take the first few moments to just find the right distance from the wall. Don't be afraid to continue shimmying or scooting away from the wall till, till it feels right. The left foot could also be higher up on the wall. And here, a little micro adjustment that feels nice to do is to just let the legs, this, this whole unit of the legs, let it sway to the right and to the left. And somewhere in there might feel like the sweet spot. Once you find that sweet spot, you could just rest there and begin to breathe into what you're feeling.
continuing to rest and breathe here. As you notice the feeling of your back against the earth, as you notice the feeling of the stretch in your outer right hip, and releasing right foot to the wall, left ankle over the right knee. Noticing where you feel it here. You could feel like you want to scoot closer to the wall or farther away since the right and left sides of the body are not always exactly the same on everyone. And you might enjoy the feeling of pressing the knee away from you or just simply relaxing the arms. And again, if you feel a lot of sensation in your lower back, that can be a sign that you are not far enough away from the wall. So find some more space. Or another thing that can help that is to walk this right foot up farther up the wall so the leg is more toward a straight position rather than 90 degrees. And let's have that same little micro movement, moving the whole unit of the legs slowly to the right and to the left, exploring the sensations along the way and resting wherever it feels like the best place to rest. and softening and settling into the breath and into what's happening inside the body, the sensations that you're feeling. and releasing both feet on the wall and making your way back to the wall, which you could do kind of digging your elbows in and scooting your sitting bones back to the wall, or you could roll all the way back on your side and get into it the way we did the first time. And now we will hold legs up the wall to have a nice gentle rebound and having this as a pose in itself for a very gentle hamstring and spine stretch. Arms could be out to the sides or they could rest on your belly, hands on the belly, or you could have your arms down alongside of you.
and taking this nice long time in this pose to enjoy the stretch of the whole back body, feeling this gentle pull of fascia, the web of fascia, from the shoulders all the way down to the sacrum, and from the sacrum and the buttocks all the way down to the heels. And the breath moving, expanding in the belly, in the ribs, in the heart. And as you exhale, your lower back softening, lengthening. And enjoying this opposite pull of gravity on the legs with the legs in this upside down position. You can maybe feel or imagine the energy, the chi kind of draining out of the legs, any stagnant energy in the lower body, redistributing so that you can experience a bit of a rewiring of your energetic system. Continuing to rest and to let the breath rise and fall as it will. Letting the breath follow its own instinctive rhythm. And now bending the knees and coming into a frog pose. So opening the feet so that you find a stretch in the inner thigh, inner groin. And you might like your legs more bent or less bent for this, even to the extent of a dragonfly. You could do that instead if you prefer. Same thing here with the distance from the wall. You may very well want to be farther away from the wall a foot or two feet or even more. So finding, adjusting so that you feel a good inner thigh stretch. You could use your hands and arms on the legs here if that helps you, or simply let them rest out to the sides or rest your hands on your belly.
breath gently and easily rising and falling as you continue to rest here. and slowly releasing. Just take the feet close together. You can rest your feet on the wall as you hug your knees in, or they might come off the wall. Taking a few moments here to feel the effects of the frog pose. Notice the after effects in the inner thighs. It might feel good to rock side to side here. And now rolling to one side as we transition onto the back once again. And we'll be using either a cushion or a yoga block for golden gate pose. So coming onto your back with your cushion or block within reach. and sliding it under your hips from a bridge pose. You can decide the right height that you'd like to have for today. And making sure that this support that's under your hips is below the waistline. So we want it at the back of the pelvis, supporting the sacrum rather than in the soft part of the back. And now your choices in Golden Gate are to have extended legs like this. You could choose to widen your legs even wider than the mat. You could choose to widen your arms as well, maybe even above shoulder level or straight out from the shoulders or down. And you could choose to bend your knees with your feet flat on the ground. Some people like to have the legs closer together, so you play around with it and decide what feels the best. And noticing what you feel as you rest here. Where do you feel the sensations of the pose? The back bends in yin generally stretch the front of the body. They stretch the hip flexors, the front of the thighs, maybe the belly rectus abdominis muscle. But there can be more sensation in the back of the body. And this sensation is not one of stretching, but it's one of compression. It's the bones and the discs being gently squeezed against each other. And in this gentle yin context, this is considered to be a therapeutic kind of compression. This is a good thing that puts a gentle stress on the bones and joints that is good to help them to stay healthy. However, it can always be too much. It could be that you are in too deep of a back bend or your back is just not 
not up for it today. So listen to your body. And if that compressive sensation is too much, if it's painful, then you could have simply less height under your hips. Or you could try the bent knee variation with the feet flat, which is gentler. Wherever you find yourself resting, let the breath be smooth, soft, gentle. and releasing the poles, bend the knees, feet flat, lift your cushion or block from under you and come into a rebound rest on your back for one minute. And notice what's happening inside the body sensations, particularly around the lower back, the sacrum, the hip flexors, the whole area of the pelvis, front and back of the body. And now coming into knees into the chest, hugging them in, gently rocking side to side. And extend your legs forward for banana pose. In banana, we'll take both legs over toward the right corner of the mat and then cross the left ankle over the right ankle. Reach both arms over the head, take right arm toward the right side, and the left arm can come to the same side and you could just let the arms relax. You could use a cushion under your arms if they're not relaxing. You could bend your elbows and hold opposite elbows or opposite forearms. Or you could use your right hand to gently pull on your left wrist or the outside of your left hand if you like that feeling and feel free to experiment to play around with the arm positions. The general idea of this pose is to lengthen and stretch along the left side of the body, the whole left side, which includes the left upper arm, the left armpit, left ribs, left waist, and you might even feel like bumping your ribs and hips out to the left a little more if you want more sensation. And we're also stretching the lower half of the outer left side of the body. So this will be your outer left thigh, your IT band as it's called. And the fascia on the left side of the pelvis. Softening and breathing wherever you are. And imagining the breath expanding into this whole expanded and extended left side.
slowly releasing. Let the arms rest down and pause between the two sides. Come back to center with your spine and taking a moment to notice what's happening now. And now the second side, you could bump your hips out to the right, both feet toward the left corner of the mat, right ankle over the left ankle, both arms over the head. Use a cushion under the arms if you'd wish, if you like, or let the arms rest on the ground. And your arms might not be touching the ground. For mine, you can see I'm not, I don't have my arm resting on the ground because of the range of motion in my shoulders, but there's still a sense that they're relaxing enough that I don't feel like I need support. But a lot of people, if they're not resting on the ground, will want support. So that's totally up to you. And you'll just choose the arm position that feels best in your body. Noticing also your head position. See if there's any different angle or rotation of your head that might help contribute to this side bending of the spine. And imagining the breath expanding and flowing into this extended right side of the whole body. and releasing banana pose, slowly bringing the arms down alongside of the body for your final relaxation now. So bringing your spine and hips back to center and making yourself comfortable for a nice long rest on the back. Using a cushion under your knees if you'd like, covering yourself with a blanket if you'd like, putting something over your eyes if you'd like, so that you can fully relax and soften here for five minutes. And during these five minutes, this is a time to claim as your own. This is a time to feel what's happening inside as a result of all of this self-care, all of this attention to body, all of this tender flow and attention to the breath.
as your body continues to settle and as your mind continues to enter fully into this space of calm and quiet. Allow yourself to feel every sensation in all these parts of the body that have been stretched and stimulated. The legs, the hips, the thighs, the lower back and the sacrum, the ribs, front, sides, and back, the shoulders, the neck, and the entirety of the spine, from the tailbone all the way up through the center of the body, through the ribs, anchoring itself in the brain, in the brain stem. And from the brain, the rush of healing blood pulsing with every heartbeat feeding out into the arms, the hands, the fingers, the palms, and this blood pulsing all the way down through the spine, nourishing the internal organs, all the way down the legs, the feet, and the toes. And as you take your next breath in, feel the oxygen nourishing into every cell, nourishing the blood. Exhaling and beginning to reach out very gently into these fingertips and into these toes. And take another nourishing breath in filling the body with fresh oxygen. And as you exhale, a little more stretching into the arms and the legs, moving. You could stretch your arms up over the head. We're going to begin to move slowly back up into a sitting position for a final period of meditation, just as we began the practice. So make yourself comfortable, either with your back against the wall or your cushion against your seat, under your seat. Making any adjustments that you need to so that your body feels spacious and comfortable. And once you find this place of calm rest, feel yourself at the center of it. Feel your body upright, your spine upright. And the stillness here at the center, in the midst of all that's moving in your awareness, Maybe the sensation of energy moving, swirling as a result of all of the awareness of this practice. Maybe the sensation of breath moving.
And so feeling this play of opposites, the outer stillness of the body and the stillness of your being at the center. While there's all of this awareness of movement happening inside and around your body. And trusting in this calm center. Empowering your own sense of trust in this ability to be here in this place of center, of self, anchored in the self. And now coming into a deeper awareness of breath, continuing to rest at center with a deeper inhale and a longer exhale. And with your next inhale, take the arms around, circle them out and up over your head. And as you exhale, bring the hands down, guiding the energy down to the heart and all the way down to the belly center. One more inhale, gathering slowly and exhaling all the way down to the heart. And now placing the hands together in front of the heart. Gently letting the eyes open when you're ready. And noticing what's around you, noticing the colors, the shapes. Welcoming the world back in and taking your time to transition from this practice. And thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day.